Hey all. So I want to do a um, little update on my beta tank setup. <clears throat> Last video was more about the equipment. I think I was going to show the um, fish a little bit this time. So yeah, I have one male beta. Beta. It's a rose petal male. It's beautiful. Let's see if we can focus a little better on him. And then I have two veil tail females. You can see the blue one back there going crazy. She's exercising. <laughs> and then a red one in this tank. <clears throat> so as I explained in the other video, if you've watched it or not, you can see those translucent tubes in the back. It's an overflow tube that loops right over the top. So the water goes from one tank to the other to the other and through my sponge filter where the male better loves to hang out. He relaxes there. Matter of fact, I think he was there in the other video too. So anyway, strangely enough, mo enough most of the fish end up in this tank for some reason. All four Cory catfish always come back to this tank for some reason. But yeah, the betters move back and forth. The um, neons, not so much. I don't think they're smart enough to figure it out. The pleco definitely moves from tank to tank. So yeah, <clears throat> and then the other thing I wanted to show on this video besides the fishes. <clears throat> so now we're on the back side of the aquarium. And uh, I mentioned in my last video, but I never showed it, is my light is a DIY job. I showed a little bit of it, and uh, it's on a pulley system. Very simple, two pulleys, so that I can raise it up for maintenance and such. And I just got a little, couple little cleats down here. Lock it down. And there we go. So now I can, you know, I've got a good, sorry to flip the camera on you, that was probably pretty dumb. Uh, so I've got a good, you know, two and a half feet up there and I can raise it up more if I want to. The tricky part of a system like this is setting up the extension cords, you know. You gotta group, group them all together and give yourself enough play so that you can raise it up and down. So now, yeah, I have free access to the tops and do my maintenance. And here, these just pieces of glass. And there are the tubes again I was talking about. If you didn't see them in the previous video. And I also, um, from time to time, will leave the light, not that high up, but I'll leave it a good foot and a half high just because they're only 10 gallon tanks and the lights that I have are pretty intense, so I get algae problems if I leave the light right on top of them. Pardon my bed in the background. But there you go. That's my cool better setup and light.